Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alina and on this channel, I like to share with you all things knitting. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing with you my first knitting podcast. I watch these all the time whenever I knit myself or I just want something in the background to listen to. So I decided why not make my own knitting podcast. I hope you guys enjoy. I have a couple things to share with you. A few things that I finished and a few that I'm currently working on. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and give it a like and subscribe. It really helps a lot. Also, I do have an Instagram. I will link it over here or down below. Go ahead and check it out. It is the same name as my YouTube, AV Knits. Now before I begin to show you guys what I am currently working on and what I finished, let me share with you what I am wearing. So if you have seen my what I've knit in the year of 2023, I actually show this sweater. It's the Tenon V-neck sweater by Kadri. This was a test knit that I did. This is what it looks like. It's like a drop shoulder, a little bit oversized, very comfortable. The yarn I used for this was the Road to China Light by The Fiber Company. It's a really lovely yarn. It's a blend of a few different things. From what I remember, it has alpaca, camel, um, silk, and a little bit of cashmere. So it's a really nice yarn. Definitely check it out. Now, let's go ahead and start with my finished objects first. Also, if you see my cat in the background over there, <laughs> that's Miko. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Also, if the lighting changes, I do apologize about that. The sun has been kind of going in and out of the clouds all day today. So if I get like weird glares on my head, that's, that's what it's from. Okay, let's go ahead and start with my first finished object of the year, which if you watched my last video of where I do the 2024 winter knitting plans, I showed that I want to knit up the Stockholm hat by Petit Knit, and I actually finished it. This is what it looks like. It's super pretty. I really like how it turned out. The yarn combination I used for this was the Filcolana Arweta Classic held together with the Knitting for Olive Soft Silk Mohair. I don't have like the colorways that I used, um, but basically it's just like this grayish brownish uh, color that it turned into. But yeah, very lovely. I haven't weaved in the ends yet. Um, I just kind of tucked them in on the, back, on the back here and then there's some on the inside because I um, have just finished this like a few days ago and then we ended up leaving to a trip so I didn't get a chance to actually weave in the ends but that's okay I will get to that I did end up steam blocking it though so it does look pretty nice I really like how it looks like let me try it on for you so you can kind of get a better idea of it so this is what it's looking like it's super comfy um it's not too tight and it's not too loose either like it's literally it, it fits perfect this is how it looks like from the side as you can see it does have the little flap which i did mention in that video that i made last week that i really like hats that have this little flap at the top so i'm very excited that it has that and i just think it's so cute and cozy and it's not itchy at all that's one thing i was worried about is that it was going to be itchy on my forehead here but it's actually not I think maybe I'm just not sensitive to this yarn because my husband actually tried it on himself um, when I was like halfway done with this and he was saying that it was a little itchy for him. So maybe mohair just doesn't suit him very well. But for me, I don't find it itchy at all and I just think it's super cute and I will definitely make another one this year. Maybe in a different color though. I don't know if I'll use mohair again. I do like the look it gives. It's like it looks very cozy, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try something else. If I have like stash yarn or something, maybe I'll use that. But yeah, definitely a success. Um, I think it's a really fast knit as well. Like I definitely want to make this and gift it to some people. Maybe when the holidays come around again, I will knit this up and gift it to some friends or family. And also the yarn I used for this that was the Filcolana Arweta. 
um, I just found out a few days ago it's a super wash wool so I can actually wash it with my washing machine and it shouldn't ruin it hopefully <laughs> but yeah this is what it looks like um, very pl I'm very pleased with it I think it turned out super cute and yeah first finished object of 2024 very excited about that so my second finished object that I have to show you guys and this is my I only have two finished objects to share with you but this one I am not as happy with um, if you watched my what I knit in 2023 you would have seen that I knit up this one sock here and I still had to finish off my second sock so I got this one this is the pattern by handmade by Florence it's her I think it's petal drop sock pattern um, so it's a very lovely pattern like I love the details on this like it's just so pretty I hope it's focusing for you it's it's very lovely I love it a lot but um, I don't know if maybe when I knit this sock it was around like September of last year that I made it and so now when I went to go finish the second sock maybe I had like looser tension or something because I finished the second sock but it doesn't really look that nice and I don't know what happened I think honestly just my tension was way looser than the first one and it just did not turn out how I wanted it to it is like way too big like this is huge I'm gonna show you in comparison to the other one like this one is way bigger and it's like not even it doesn't even look nice it's i don't i don't know what happened to it like this is where my blocking wire it ends at like right right here where i'm pulling at it and then this is where my sock lays like this is the wire right here and then this is extra like an inch of just fabric and it's kind of like just way too big I don't know i was looking at at the stitches and they just don't look that neat on here i don't know what happened and then it's also way too long um yeah way too long <laughs> i don't know i'm just really disappointed honestly because i was really looking forward to finishing these and like being able to wear them but it just did not turn out how i wanted it to i think honestly it was just my tension being too um what's it called too loose because I counted these um, like these little eyelet petal things I did count how many I had like from the toe over here all the way down to like the ribbing at the cuff and it's the same number that this pair has as well so it should be the same but it's not so I went wrong somewhere and very disappointed that it didn't work out but it's okay mistakes happen honestly like I want to record my mistakes as well I don't want to just show like oh yeah everything always turns out perfect so as you can see that didn't work out too well so I'm thinking of unraveling it completely and maybe redoing it and just holding the yarn a lot tighter um, because I do really like these socks. I think they're very pretty and I do want them in my closet. So I think that's what I'm going to plan to do. But I did want to show you guys my little flop of a sock. <laughs> Literally, it's just like so floppy too. So yeah, you can even see it when I lay it against uh, one on top of the other. Like this one is way longer. Unfortunate, but it's okay. Things like this happen sometimes. It is what it is. So those are my two finished objects that I had to share with you. Now I have a few items I want to share that I have made progress on. The first one I have to share, um, you might find it a little bit familiar because I shared it in my last video of my winter 2024 knitting plans. And it is the Ingrid sweater by Petite Knit. So last I showed you it, I think I had the back with the front connected and I started like knitting down, but it was like only a little bit like down I think like this much or something like that so it wasn't a whole lot 
but now I do have a little bit of progress. I have I'm not close to finishing it yet, but I have made progress on it, so I'm gonna share it with you. So this is what it's looking like. So you might not see much of a difference on it, but there is a little bit. So first things first, I think last I showed you, I didn't even start the faux cabling yet. Or maybe if I did start it, it was like a quarter of an inch done from like here down here. So I have added the majority of the faux cabling at the bottom. I think I still need to add a little bit more, but honestly, I am running out of yarn like quickly. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the full faux cabling that Petite Knit has on her pattern. Um, Cause I think for hers, it has like, it's a little bit longer for the faux cabling. So we might have to leave it this short, but we will see, I will try to make it work. But, so I did add some length to it. As you can see, it's looking super cute. And then another thing I added to it was the neck. As you can see, I did a one by one rib on the neck. And then I ended it with a Italian bind off or tubular bind off. I don't really know the difference between it. I know it's just one of those. Um, and yeah, I just think it looks super cute. I didn't want to do the really high neckline. I just wasn't a huge fan of the look of that. Um, but I did want a little bit of a raise, so I kind of did this like little mock neck situation. I think Knits by Mandy did it like this, and I really liked how it looked like, so I decided to do mine like that as well, and I'm very pleased with it. I tried it on a few nights ago just to see how it fits, and I actually really like it. It ends like at a good length. It doesn't cover my neck completely, but it does add some warmth to my neckline, so very pleased with how it's looking like very lovely pattern i am obsessed with it now if you watched my last video uh you would have seen that i mentioned i don't know if i have enough yarn because i'm using the sunday by sanis garn held double to to make this and i only had seven balls that i bought because that was all that was in stock at the yarn shop that i bought from well I ended up messaging them to see if they had any more and they didn't get back to me unfortunately but I ended up calling a bunch of other yarn shops around my area and there was one store that said they do have like my color in stock she's like we have a bunch of them in stock like 10 balls like 10 balls of them so I got super excited and I went there the next day to buy like one more ball of yarn because I was like because I'm pretty sure that's all I would need like just to create like the ribbing at the bottom and everything um and when i got there they did not have the sunday yarn um i was a little bit confused i wasn't sure like what happened did somebody just come in in the last 12 hours and just buy all of them um but then we figured out that the lady didn't realize i asked for the sunday yarn so she ended up telling me yeah we have this color in stock but it was for the Pure Gint by Santa's Garn. So I didn't know what to do, honestly, because it's not the same blend, obviously. I think the Pure Gint is like, uh, it's some kind of wool. I'm not, I don't remember exactly if it's like a Peruvian wool or something, but I know it's a wool. I'll correct it somewhere on the screen, like of what it is if, if it's not Peruvian. But I honestly wasn't really sure what to do, so I ended up just buying that one ball of that Pure Gint since it was in the same color. And honestly, since this pattern is so like textured that like you don't even notice like the different color. I like compared it to to like this yarn and it's honestly super similar. I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to use that pure gint for the ribbing on the bottom of my sweater and then for the bottom of like the ribbing on the sleeves of the sweater and I think we should be fine. The reason I think we'll be fine is because I'm holding the Sunday double so it's creating a thicker yarn which the pure gint is that is thicker yarn. So with the pure gint I'm just going to hold a single when I do the ribbing and I think it should be fine. Let's hope but even if it does look a little bit off, I think if it's on the ribbing of the bottom, I think we'll be fine. So that is what my plan is to do with that. And hopefully by next time I see you, I will have more done of this so we can actually get a better look of how it's going to turn out. 
but yeah so this is my ingrid sweater and i really like how it is turning out i really like the color i think it matches really nice as well against my hair and my skin and very excited to finish this so yeah that is what i have been working on and very excited to finally finish this but also i don't want it to go by too fast because it has been an enjoyable knit so i want to savor all the moments and i've honestly been trying to kind of knit a little bit slower just so i can enjoy it and not just be in a big rush to finish it all so that's that okay my next project i have to share with you I actually showed you uh, in my last video as well the swatch that I made and it was for the oversized seasons cardigan by Ozetta. So I hadn't cast it on the project yet but I did do a swatch and I had hit gauge so I actually ended up casting on and I've done a little bit of it. It's not a whole lot but honestly it is going by a little bit slow just because it is a half fisherman's rib. so. Basically, you do two rows, it looks like it's one. That's why it's going by a little bit slower, but it's okay. It's actually a real, a really enjoyable knit so far. Um, so I don't mind, honestly, that, that much. So let me show you what it's looking like. I'm trying to see how I can hold this up for you to see without like taking out any of the needles. Okay, this is what we got done so far. As you can see, we're doing the band at the same time as the uh, body and the sleeves like we wa we are increasing for the sleeves over here and for the back which is like the middle of this and then the bands are on a different needle so i don't have like double pointed needles so i'm kind of like making do with what i have which i have these like um these like needles that you just screw onto the cord so that's what i'm using to hold that together if you can kind of see like one end has like the little screw part over here um and yeah i think it's turning out really pretty i like the color of it it's very plushy it's like a really plushy material i keep like squishing it every couple minutes just because it's so soft and i really like how it's turning out if you can get like a little closer look at it very nice i like it a lot um I can't wait to get this finished, but it is going by really slow, so we'll see when I get this finished. Right now, I'm still working on the increases, so still got a while to go, but hopefully we will make some good progress on it by next time I see you. So that's how that's looking like, and then the yarn that I'm using is, I believe it's the Barocco Ultra Alpaca yarn. Um, I already caked it up but it's kind of like becoming messy so i don't know if i need to redo it or what happened here but it's okay so really like this yarn it's like more of a worsted weight yarn so that's what it's looking like i'm not sure if it's gonna pill a lot but it does kind of shed a lot i was wearing black leggings and i had it in my lap like sitting in my lap and when i took it up like there was just like little gray fuzzes all over it all over my leggings so i don't know we will have to deal with that when the time comes but it's okay because i think it's going to turn out really pretty and i'm really excited for it so it's okay if it sheds a little bit not not a huge issue honestly um but yeah really liking how this is looking like and hopefully by next time i see you maybe i will have split for the sleeves in the back that would be really cool actually if i get that far <laughs> so yeah this is my oversized seasons cardigan by ozetta so far and there there's not much more to say about it because we're still in the beginning stages so that's all i really have to talk about it i like the yarn it's very soft um it doesn't feel itchy at all but i'm also not going to be wearing this on top of like just my bare skin i'm going to be wearing it with uh Pro with probably either a t-shirt or like a long sleeve underneath so i don't think it's going to be a problem anyway but yep that is my cardigan so far it doesn't look like a cardigan yet but it will eventually <laughs> okay so that is my current projects that i am working on um i have one more item to share with you that i want to start i actually ended up doing a gauge swatch for this but i haven't 
started it yet because we are having a little bit of problems with the gauge but also from my last video i posted where i show you my knitting plans for this winter i mentioned i want to start on the lulu slipover i believe it's called by petite knit and i was planning to hold these two kid silk mohairs by drops i'm pretty sure um with this uh with this like wool yarn by Isigur together and they're like all like a lace weight so i thought by holding them three together it'll give me like that worsted weight that the pattern calls for so i ended up doing a gauge swatch the other night um just because i wanted to see how these colors would also blend together because they are a little bit different like these from this one um so this is what the gauge looks like I do like the I'm trying to see how I can hold it for you. I do like the color that it gives off. I think it's very pretty. I think it'll look nice as that slip over. But the only problem I found, it's also very fuzzy. Can you see that? How fuzzy that is? I don't know if you can see, but it's the the kid silk mohair that's making it super fuzzy. So I'm like hoping I can, I'm trying to see if you can if I can show you. Honestly, if this was like just on my skin, I'd wear it. I think it would be kind of itchy. Just holding it against my arm, it's not. On my neck, I feel I feel it a little bit, but also I'm doing it as a slip over, so I'm going to be wearing that on top of like a long sleeve, so I think I'll be fine. But um what was I saying? Basically, I do like the color it gives i like the material it's actually kind of flowy too because i mean you're knitting with like three lace yarns so it's not going to be like a thick material but the problem i found is that i didn't need gauge mine ended up being a lot bigger than what it was supposed to be i think i had like i don't remember what what exactly i ended up doing but i think i hit like three extra stitches on like this way and then like five extra stitches like down like going down for the rows so i'm thinking i will try this again but i think i'm gonna try it on a smaller needles and see where that gets me and if that doesn't work um i don't know i might just have to try a different yarn or use the same or like still do the pattern with this yarn and this like combination but just not add as many rows maybe like once i reach the bottom of the sweater i don't know i will have to figure something out but right now i really like the color it gives i think it's gonna look super pretty once i actually do it I'm just nervous that if I knit this up right now, it's going to be way too big. Like, I'm going to be swimming in it. And I don't want that look either. <laughs> so, we will see. But that is what I am currently trying to figure out. So, that is my current project that I am excited to start. But I just got to figure that out. And that's basically all I have to share with you guys for today. I know it's not a whole lot, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I'm currently working on, what I've been finishing. Um, I know like I've had some fails in here, but that's okay. That's the part of knitting. Like you're not always going to do it perfectly the first time around. So lesson learned. Um, that's okay. I'll, I'll For the sock, I'm probably just going to end up unraveling it and just redoing it. I do want to try to make more socks though so if you guys know of any patterns for socks uh that i should try out go ahead and link them down below or like let me know the name of them so i can actually do it i think they're actually i think they're really fun to knit up honestly i do want to put more socks in my collection they're super cute um so yeah if you guys know of anything just let me know but yeah, I think that's all I really have for today. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate all the support. I honestly did not expect to receive all the love that I have been from everybody. Like, everybody in the knitting community is super kind and sweet. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Bye!